wide pelvis, small jaw, a woman, around thirty judging by the teeth, left arms missing. Okay, we've left go, go. the uh, White Orchard behind, and we've Dead moved on to Velen proper. Now, this is the map that we are going to be spending the bulk of the game in. There is another map, the Skelligan Islands, I think they called it. But this one is bigger, and it's got more of the overall game in it. So, this is where we're going to end up being. Now, I'm not going to devote an episode to just running around this map to explore the area. That would That's take it, way too long, and you really wouldn't get a good feeling for the way that the place is built. So we're just going to head right towards our first marker. The game falls into kind of an unusual, or actually a rather very usual, kind of problem between trying to feel realistic and in a realistic scale and scope and having to compress environments down small enough to make traversal between different towns or dungeons or caves Whoa. or whatever reasonable go, go. for the player. So this area that we left, we left that we passed through that one town and we're moving on to another town and in reality it takes maybe a minute or less realistically to reach that town. But it feels pretty far away. Now in reality, actual towns wouldn't be that close to each other. It'd be pretty much the same town, just different parts of it. These towns are small. They're pretty close together, but they're far enough away, I'd say, to feel appropriate for a video game. Of course, you don't want to hop on a horse and take 45 minutes an hour or whatever to reach a separate town. It's kind of ridiculous. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Got company. Who is it? In Cape, Vorka. Who's this one? Brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters. The other, for humans. Only got one prick, though, in case you're wondering about that, too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. Or the bench you can use. I the nose. And there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think, of himself. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Hmm. I'm looking for Hendrik. 
Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, and he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. All right, so we have to find this Hendrick fellow who has a line on Siri's whereabouts. Now, I guess... Oh, don't punch in a horse. <laughs> That's not Roach. Here's Roach. So there's... I guess what they're going to want to do is kind of guide you from one town to another. So you get run... up. Oh, there's somebody to fight. Oh, he's, he was harassing some local, so I'm going to go... Beat the shit out of them. Now these are the Baron's men. They were, I guess, um, Tamarian soldiers who, after the fall of Tamaria and Nilfgaard came in, they went and sort of, I guess you can't really call it defected, but they've settled into the control of their new leaders, you know. The Empire probably wouldn't have given them much of a choice, but anyway, these people are a bunch of assholes and they're going around just bullying the local populace to get their own way. And we'll eventually see that their leader, the Baron, is so much worse than they are. <laughs> oh, kill move. Come on, kill him. I'm trying to, uh, I'm practicing... What I was doing at the time was I was practicing my parries and blocks and stuff. It's funny though. You get all their shit and you go around you loot them. Then you go talk to the guy that you saved. And he like doesn't even acknowledge it. What's new in the broad world? You're, uh, you're welcome by the way, buddy. Okay. This game starts off in Velen with a pretty, uh, pretty well designed quest line, I think. It's not a memorable one, because honestly, I didn't remember it until I replayed this game. But it starts you off in one area, passes you through a town, into another town, and then from there, you get some information which takes you to another town further away. Now, this is important because they need you to trek across the wilderness in order to find the different towns, which would then be marked on your map as well as the signposts, which can be traveled to from any other signpost, as long as you have discovered them. Now, it's important to get the player moving, give them some sort of a motivation to go around. Now, after this quest line concludes, then you have a little bit more agency as to where you're going to go for main story quests. But at this point, they sort of want to put a boot to your ass to get you moving. So, that's what we're doing here. Now, we passed through two towns so far, moving to the third, so that's three signposts we've discovered. Now, after this quest, it'll open up a little bit, and we'll have some options, but... Not that you can't just go wherever the hell you want now. You can, but there's no storyline drive pushing you in any particular direction but here. Yeah, Everything got frozen. Like uh, dropping into a nice. deep cellar on a hot day. And the mist. Climb over the fence, buddy. Climb over the fence. There you go. Remember that the wild hunt when they appeared before where everything became cold. And this place is cold, so huh, wild hunt been here? Maybe they're after this Hendrick guy too. I mean they do want Siri, and if he's the one that knows where Siri is. Hmm. Kind of a target on his back. Ah, oh, he killed the dog, you bastard. Be gone! Leave me be, whoever you is! Get away! Calm down. It's over.
Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd a heard the cries, sir. If you'd a heard how a man can scream, how he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange, the toads, I cannot hear them. Save terror through and through. Hendrik screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. the terrors, yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No, and I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. him. Maybe they missed something. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood. Congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. left unlocked, on display, almost. Lost his mind, or... Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. A 
ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige, also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair, scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talk to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp, encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Ciri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Alright, we don't know where Ciri is, but we have a few leads. A witch, the Baron, and, well... We gotta go somewhere. So let's go check out that witch. Cyrilla is here. The girl once sought by the Lodge of Sorceresses and practically every ruler on the continent has landed here in Velen and I know nothing of it. What is she doing here? Indications are she's hiding from someone. I heard she quarreled with a witch, but if you don't know anything, 